Welcome to the shop. Today, I'm gonna modify this. So this is just kind of thrown together. So this is gonna get uh, these holes redone at three eighths, so lower, closer to the to the blade. And then maybe if I have enough energy, uh, I'll put a, a couple of stiffening bars. I don't like the the rotational options that this thing has but it's pretty good just the way it is just way too long like the distance here is too great so I'm gonna come much closer with this and then maybe maybe I don't know do something uh, so that this has like some kind of handle on it like I don't know I haven't decided how I'm gonna deal with that um, but now that I'm looking at it, and I don't know if you can see it with, but it's looking pretty okay. Like, don't much care for yeah, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm just seriously just staring and contemplating, so uh when i come back i'll probably be have set up to do something like this or maybe i'll i'll walk through what i did you see i put the uh c clips in on either ends to as as retainers to hold the springs on um so I, and now i just got to figure out distances and clearances and just the fun stuff okay so <clears throat> these are the little guys that I ended up with right here a little smaller um and I got this and there's already see now you can actually visu visually see the C clips and there's a little channel that I put in there so a little there's a spring three-eighths of an inch springy spring and this one is just angry that's okay it can be angry and this one and the little c-clip which is pretty well cooked, but we don't care that much. Okay, that and that had to make it quite a bit lower. Um, and oh, that's right, because I didn't bother cleaning up that, which I probably should. Uh, anyway all right there we go then this was my uh, my goal today was to get this closed closer to the bar I don't really care for that little arch that seems to be developing in here but uh I suppose that's kind of a paradoxical effect of having a spring-loaded dofuncus for something like this Uh, 
as opposed to you know I'd, I've never built anything like this before so I don't know that's probably why but I want to be able to change sharpening stones on the fly like quickly so there we go now it's just about building this section uh, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to use aluminum for uh, to build the vertical risers and so on and so forth for that that particular project because uh, I've got a, a host of this uh, tempered uh, 6160 aluminum so it's a T6511 or something um, and I'm pretty excited about that because it's it's for this project at least uh, it's going to serve its purpose um, so the goal because I've seen these like you see them on Facebook or not Facebook but you know the, the you know you set your angle here to whatever knife and then you know drag this guy across it and that's kind of the goal um, so the next trick is to, to solve for building that this deal so that I can control the angles um, and uh, on this end uh, to, for the height um, hey yeah it'll it'll be fun it'll be a fun project I uh, I struggle with descriptives apparently so trying to describe what I'm doing is not my strong point but hopefully uh, yeah hopefully uh, some of my viewers may have seen something like this before somewhere on the internet and been like I know what he's building I know what that guy's up to so yeah that's uh that's my pre-break progress so I'm gonna take a break now okay so uh, just tapped another portion of this I got it's on both ends uh, tapped uh, and this is the best solution I could come up with to get this thing to do what I want it to um, and I suppose some some Loctite on one end of this is gonna be in order so yeah that's gonna that's gonna fit okay like there and then let's see there and that's gonna give me the the rotation I was looking for so I'm gonna lock tight which hand this one so I'm gonna lock tight this in and uh, that's gonna allow this one in theory to rotate a little bit it only needs to rotate like five degrees or something but it needs to rotate that five degrees so a little bit of red lock tight um, Do 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 it, and we'll just put a couple of drops in here. Screw it in, and we're gonna leave about that much proud sticking out of it, and we're just gonna leave it alone and let that Loctite set. Um, and then let's see, where is it? Ha! <laughs> and then I'm gonna screw this guy in because we need the opposing angles. So, so that's how that's gonna work out. Huh? Ha ha! Dustly. So it turns. See, that's all I was trying to get at, was just that little 90 degrees of turn. One of these, 
uh, if I can get, there we go. Uh, one of these goes in thusly, and the other one, uh, sharpening end, uh, goes in. And again, gotta loosen all these things to get everything fit in there. Uh-oh. There we go. So, there we go. Uh-huh. And here we go. So, there we go. We got a little Dufunk is here, right? Uh, and this goes downward and slides in and out and sharpens things. Uh, this allows us to go up and down and this allows us to, you know, do stuff and things. So that's kind of, that was kind of the plan today. Um, that piece locks uh, this Dufunkus into place to set the height. Um, and then it, of course it's threaded. So if I go too far, it'll just lock, but that, that was kind of the plan. So, I suppose this will serve as a, a part one of, of this uh, a particular uh, project. Like, seriously. We're just having too much fun. Well, let me get this up here. That's what we built uh, today and tomorrow and yesterday. Um, let me go back a little bit. There we go. Yeah, kind of an interesting deal. Uh, well, I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, take a minute if it suits you and like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you then.